Hello, today I'm going to install kayak hoist from Rad Sports. What's inside? We have straps, rope, hook, and the pulley system. And this V shaped bracket. So according to the instruction, the hoist needs to be attached to the mounting board and then the mounting board will attach to the drywall joist. The kayak hoist does not come with a mounting board. So you need to purchase this uh, separately from Home Depot or any lumber store. I have two bed slate board from an IKEA bed I'm going to use as a mounting board. So the hardware you need, all purpose screw, wood screw with anchor, drywall screw, um, you might need it if you don't connect to the joist, some washer and a drill. Here's the kayak. One thing to make sure are the Hoyt straps can loop around the kayak at both ends. The installation guide tells you you need to five inches from the wall on both ends. And the kayak anchor needs to be mounted to the board and then the board is mounted to the drywall stud. The installation says you need to use four inch screw to attach the mounting board to the joist and then use two inch screw attach the bracket to the mounting board. I will use four inch screw attach the board to the joist and then two inch screw attach the mounting bracket to the board. The board is sold separately how you can tell the joist is you can see the drywall tape. Whenever there's drywall tape, there's going to be a wooden joist behind it. Mounting bracket install. You need to use the lag bolt, which are two inches. And before you attach to the mounting board, you need to drill a pilot hole. Use the 11 millimeter socket to screw on the lag bolt. Very important. Make sure the two mounting bracket is aligned and straight. We're gonna take this uh, piece of board and align it. And in case it's not aligned, you can adjust it with that. All right, this is pretty good. Now it's time to install the pulley. We're gonna use this 17 millimeter bolt that come with the hardware. There are two pulley. This one has a brake. And you can see there are two. And this one only has one, does not have the brake. So the one with the brake and two wheels, this needs to be hanged toward the wall. There are two ropes. The first rope is gray color that goes from the hanger through A, loop around through E, and then tied at the knot at point F. And the second rope is this black arrow, also going through A, A has two wheels, and then loop around to B, and then C, and tied at D. All right, per instruction, we have to cut the rope uh, into three sections. First section is going to be uh, six to 10 feet. I cut eight feet, which is this rope. The second rope is going from the hook, A, 
E, F. And then the next rope is going from A, B, C, D. So we'll cut three ropes. After you slice it, the rope is loose. Simply use a lighter to to burn the end. So I have two ropes that run through the guide holes of the pulley brake. Uh, one rope will go across to the other pulley and the other rope will wrap around and come downward. This rope run from the other side through this pulley down, loop around. And at this end, we're gonna tie a knot. Okay, it's secure. This is how the pulley works. There are two ropes, one on the left and one on the right. The one on the right, when I pull it, control the rear hooks. The front hook does not move. And then the rope on the left, when I pull it, will control the front hooks. All right, I have the kayak hoisted up. These straps, they just go directly over the hook and they're adjustable with different slots. You can hook the straps. This kayak is about 75 pounds, and let's see how easy it is to lift it. Now there are two ropes, one on the left. Whoa, control the front, and one on the right. Control the rear, be careful. Don't let go too quickly. Now let's hoist this thing up. First, we're gonna release the brake and then pull it down. Okay, I'm pulling only with one hand and it's pretty effortless. Pull. Every time you pull, the brake automatically engage. So, pull. Lower the kayak. Simply pull toward the center. This will disengage the brake and slowly release the rope. And whenever you want to stop, you want to re-engage the brake by pulling it toward the wall. All right, thanks for watching.